Hi, and today I'm going to show you how to go and add a claim for the travel request and go for the approval process of the supervisor, the admin, and the email notifications. We go down to expense, then we go to claims, and then we go to employee claims. And now we see one right here. It's the one we created earlier, and it's pending supervisor approval. Okay, and we can also go and edit and add an attachment to as well. Um, also, if we go down, we can go and add a comment. So we can add a comment, and we'll go and we can approve it. And we can see now that that is approved in the history. And there's a comment too. I said, checked with Abby, this looks good. So finally, we'll go and look at it from the admin's view and finalize this claim. And this is what the subscriber will receive for the expense claim notification. Abby's subscriber says, your expense claim has been approved by Maria Henderson and is pending final approval. Okay, so now that we're the admin, we go to expense and then we go to claims and then we go to employee claims. We see the claim that it's pending final approval. We just click on it. If we scroll down past the expense details, we can see an itemized breakdown in the summary section. So this is the itemized breakdown. Uh, as you can see, since it was paid by the employee, um, 700 was paid, and we can see the advance paid by the company, zero was paid. Uh, we see the amounts due. So we owe 700 to the employee, Abby and the total spent is 700 and I'll be total estimate of 700. So we realize that this is good. Uh, we can go in and comment and then we go and approve. And if you're a subscriber to the claim request approval notification, this is what the email looks like after the action has been done. If you need help configuring emails, refer to the other video, how to go and configure email subscriptions. Moving forward, this is what the claim looks like whenever we go and print it out and it goes and shows the claim. Thank you for watching today's training video. If you want to know more, contact us at info at or visit our website for more information.